Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Dick here once again, and my cable for the PSP came. Ooh, this is so epic. Playing the PSP on my big friggin' telly. Awesome. Right, now we're gonna start the RPG that I told you. Now you may be wondering, part zero? What the fuck? Yeah, the reason for that is because this RPG has such a deep backstory that I'm actually gonna explain it a wee bit. But for first, in case you haven't read the title, what is this PSP game? Popola Kreuz. Oh yes. I frigging adore this game. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Popola Kreuz has a really rich history and I'm going to attempt to explain it right here. Uh, way back in like the, uh, I believe the 70s to the 80s, Popola Kreuz was just like a manga published in a magazine. Uh, as it reads here, the will to protect someone important, heartwarming adventure story of Pietro who descends from dragons. That's kind of the thing about Polar Christ. It's just a simple, charming story, uh, centered around friendship and all that. Uh, really, really good stuff, like, you know. And it was around 1996, I believe, that Sony published the game Popola Christ on the PS1. But here's the thing, every Popola Christ game to come out after that would only be released in Japan, not once making it over to the States or to the or to Europe. So there were three PS there were three PS1 games released in 1996, 1998 and 2000 consecutively. They, these starred all the same characters, the main character being Pietro here. Uh, in Japan he's actually called Pietoro, adding an extra O. And I'm going to try and remember to say that because it sounds cooler. And they were very successful, so much so that they actually spawned an anime series, but I'll come to that in a bit. Uh, so after the PS1 games, they then started making PS2 games. Uh, these were based... these uh, had different characters, but they were directly related to the characters in the PS1 games. They were sort of descendants of them, if you will. There was two of those on the PS2, and unfortunately they weren't that good. But, at the same time, they also spawned an anime. Um, so yeah, two games, two series of, well sort of series of games, different story arcs spawning two different animes. Uh, the one based off the PS1 games uh, aired right after the first PS1 game and was a sequel to that game. You know, it wasn't based off it, it introduced new characters and some elements from the last two games are actually not present in it. Um, as for the uh, anime that was based off the PlayStation 2 games, they, that was actually directly based off the games. It told the same story a lot better than the games did, apparently, and is overall one of my favourite animes of all time. This an the f anime based off the first games I'm actually not too fond of, so basically, great games equals not so great anime, but not so great games equals great anime, you know. Yeah, it does. Right, and... This is confession time. Right, if you're interested in looking up this game, by the way, I highly recommend you get this game, obviously. I'm going to be saying that a lot in this Let's Play. If you're interested in seeing the anime too, I'm going to put links in the description to the first episode of the anime that was based off this series. Um, I don't completely suggest you watch it if you're planning to follow the story through my Let's Play, or if you plan to pick up the game yourself, because it does have some spoilers for the first part of that of uh, the story to this game. But uh, here's the thing, those episodes were uploaded on an account called Beer Nuts and Chips and the guy who was uploading them didn't finish uploading them. The last episodes of each series were never uploaded. Who is that stupid? Um, I'm that stupid. Yeah, I. that's actually my account. I uploaded all those episodes. You want to know why I didn't upload the last episode? Well, the thing is, the episodes were translated by a website called Anime BT, which unfortunately doesn't exist anymore. And uh, the uh, the owner of that website was uh, subbing the episodes, but the thing is, he took like nine months to do a certain episode. When I first discovered Popola Kreuz, I actually... he had about 20 episodes done, and he would take months to finish them, and in the time it took him to finish the last episodes, I actually just lost interest. I loved Popola Christ, but I just stopped going to the website and never actually bothered watching the anime. Stra oddly enough, about a year later, I went to the website and the episodes were finally released, and I downloaded them, but I never uploaded them to YouTube. 
And on top of that, I never actually finished watching them myself, which is odd because this was seriously my whole life at one point, this anime and this game. Um, so this is where you guys come in. I need you to comment, send me messages, do whatever it takes to bug me to get me to friggin' upload those episodes onto that channel. Because I feel really bad for everyone who followed that anime on that channel and never got to finish it. Me, myself, I felt really, you know, sad when I couldn't, when I thought that the website had given up translating it. But thankfully they did, and I've still got every episode, I just need to upload them. So bug me about it. Yeah. Right. But now on to a little bit about this actual game, though. This game uh, was released in 2005, one year after the latest game in the series on the PS2. And unfortunately, the series kind of stopped there. And this game on the PSP is a compilation of the PS1 games. Uh, it's not a complete port, it's actually more of a remake, basically taking the best parts out of three classic PS1 games and combining them into one. There's three parts to them which is split up between the three games, obviously, so sorry, it really is sort of a three-in-one sorry, deal with this game. And... That's pretty much it. And I'm really, really pleased to finally be let's playing this because if you want to talk about obscure LPs or obscure games in general, you're looking at it because no one knows about this game. Apart from those Popola Christ anime episodes that I uploaded, there is barely anything else Popola Christ related on YouTube. And it's just incredibly, incredibly underrated and was a pretty much a failure on the PSP. And it saddens me, because this, I picked this up at complete random. I remember going into the shop and I was holding up two games, Popo Lacroix, looks like a cute sort of RPG, and uh, one of the games in the Monster Hunter series. Monster, Hur Monster Hunter is probably a good game, I don't give a shit, because on the flip of a coin, I'm not, I'm not joking, I flipped a coin and it came up to, for me to buy Popo Lacroix, I took it home and I fell in love, really. And if me doing this let's play makes me more people know about this game, then um, that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Right, I think that's all I want to say about this. Uh, that was a long little ramble there, wasn't it? But yeah, we're going to start this. Obviously I'll be doing another game alongside this because this is an RPG, and since it is technically three games in one, it may even be longer than Skies of Arcadia, you never know. But in any case, let's get into this, and I'm very, very happy to be playing this, and I hope you all enjoy it as much as I do. Right. See you in the first part, guys. Thanks for watching.